Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Zeus Master of Olympus. Uh, we've uh, finished the first episode, the parent city of the uh, open play economic. So now we're going to move on to the colony. We took our sweet time and we set up the city. It's very nice. Uh, but let's see what happens next. Oh, we have to choose between two. Smyrna is a land of metal, rich in both copper and silver ore. Mm-hmm. The fertile fields here are the perfect hosts for livestock and wheat farms. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we're gonna go with that one first. Let's go with Smyrna. Eight skins, a fleece for a parent city. Well, since since uh, I won't be getting to play this one, like, well, it sucks that you can't switch back to your colony and, you know, perfect it. So I'm not really motivated to uh, spend that much time here. Yeah, we've got some silver ore, and we got some copper ore, and we got some wolves, and some meadow, and that's it. What about food? We've got meadow. We've got two meadow spots, okay. Onion farm. Parting shed. So all we have to do is eight skeins of fleece. Which, isn't that what I gifted to my city? I can't remember what I gifted, but uh, basically this is, let's just rush through this. So sorry if I'm disappointing anyone that uh, hoped for more. This uh, episode doesn't seem like there's that much of a challenge, J there's just no motivation for me to... Uh, make the colony anything special, you know? Alright. Fill up like that. Fill it up like that. Oh, you guys need uh, to survive somehow, right? So, water. <laughs> Maintenance office. Um... There's your infirmary. There's your outpost. And there's your gym. Gym buff. Dude. Hey. Okay. Now we'll just need food. Food, all we can do is. Oh, we can do a dairy with goat and onion farm. Alright, let's do a bunch of dairies. Where's the meadow? Uh. Alright, let's place that there. Maintenance office. I can actually trade for food with anybody. Sells. Yeah, Troy. Alright. Oh, and I'm getting tribute. So, alright. Pretty close to Troy. There you go. This isn't that easy. Alright. And, um,. Then I'll need a whole bunch of storehouses for stuff. And let's make work rate very high. Employees needed. Got it. There we go, we've got 100 people now. Tribute is paid, thank you. And there's the 8 skins of fleece. Everyone loves me for some reason. Alright, we've got unemployment. If the fleece. Alright. We're done! Good. Let's just go back to our parent city. Sorry, I just don't want to spend any more time here. But now that the foundries and mints are thriving, yep, that was exactly the requirement. Let's just keep this episode going because it's way too short. <laughs> Now we have to prepare for our second colony, 8 skins of fleece and 8 jugs of olive oil. Are you kidding me? Colony monument available. Alright, let's go to our colony. Gift of wine, thank you. That was easy. Oh my. Economic. Open play economic, you're disappointing me man. 
Fertile fields here are the perfect host for livestock and wheat farms. Okay. Aces of armor for Parent City. Are you serious? Alright, let's pause and see what we got. We got some... What the heck is this road doing here? We got some urchins. We got some random islands. We got some random meadow. <laughs> More random urchins. And, uh, that's it? Wow, this... This one actually, like, sucks. I'm supposed to give suits of armor somehow. Uh, so I don't have a foundry, I don't have copper, so obviously I'm just gonna buy them and send them. It's like... I think they purposely made it like this, like, okay, just get a colony to help you out, that'll make you it more fun, but let's just skip over anything interesting in the colonies. Alright, and that, and that. Okay. Uh, so let's predict the roads there. Oh, next road there. Okay, good. Glad I built that bridge there. Alright, let's just do it this way. Are you serious? There we go. Okay, so again, we just need a small something. Something, something. Hey. But uh, I'm gonna go around right back in the middle there. Put a whole bunch of housing that nobody cares about right there. Alright, looks like we can't put that much. And put it right there. Yes, demolish that. Do we have boulevards? Yes, we do. Too bad, we're not gonna use them. Oh, I didn't even align that properly. Alright. We'll just use this then. My phone is vibrating is most interesting. Actually, that was supposed to be a boulevard. There you go, it's so pretty. Have an avenue even there, even prettier. And uh, have an avenue for over here. Hmm. I hope uh, those don't get any more ideas of interconnecting here. It's not allowed. Anyway, it's shorter, so it should be fine. Alright, there's your food. There's your maintenance. There's your water. There's your infirmary. There's your athletes. There's your granary. There's the storehouses that you need. Ah, food. Troy! That was not Troy that I clicked on. Troy! Alright, there we go, yeah. Get you right there. We shall connect the roads. So, we can go through there, maintenance guy, right there, we'll buy that stuff, alright, and now we need armor, so who can we buy armor from, cells, let's see, cells, Those bronze, we're getting bronze yearly, that's us, cells armor, Venetia. All right, Phoenicia. Herpa derpa. Herpa derp. Give me some art. As always, we make that very high. Employees needed. Postpone the olive oil gift. Postpone it. What the heck? I don't have enough people. Gift of onions. I accept that. Population 100. 
There, I accept your olive oil. If the fleece, thank you, thank you. Set aside. Alright, well that was easy enough. These uh open play, no episode goals. That's it? That's it? What? Only monument is available. Are you serious? That was it. Alright. Um Well, is there anything else we can do to this city? We're producing everything we possibly can. We've got Athena over there, we've got Hephaestus. Okay, so we've got only two um, temples. We have a full elite housing. Is there anybody new on the scene? No, I just have two colonies. They're giving me fleece and bronze yearly. We've already conquered everyone. Um, so I guess build the max number of temples we can, get this sector to be fully developed as well. If you worship me, my beloved hound will watch over your city. And wait, normal. We have enough food. Let's see, where's the onion farm? So we've got a whole bunch of onions there. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Wage expectations change. The cost of living in your city has risen, and people now expect to be paid more to make ends meet. Oh man, there you go. Tribute. Thank you. I accepted so much fleece just a second ago. What's going on? Do I not have my own fleece? I do not. Right! I remember now. I'm buying it. And we're struggling. Right. Right, right, right. Ah, and I'm also buying the onions and the wheat, yeah. Okay. Let's possibly have enough food. Alright. Well, since we have high unemployment, makes sense to make another Tri-Remorph, just for the heck of it. Uh, we're gonna put that one... right... Huh. Let's not put it right there. Happiness monument available, that's very cool. Don't know where I can. Am I, am I using you anything? I'm not buying armor or sculpture and I'm not selling fleece, so... How about we destroy you? And we make the nice try remorph right there. You have a full fl fleet of ships. So I can't make any more? So I have the max number, which is three, four, five, six. So six is the max number of uh, ships you can have. Alright, good to know, good to know. Well, let's, uh, let's put that pier back here. Um, and, oh, we got an extra pier over there, so let's see if we can purpose this one anywhere. Mm, doesn't seem like we'll find a suitable place right away. Okay. And then we shall put it randomly there. There we go. I have a maintenance guy, why don't you? And the other trading posts, Verna, let's just put that. Where can we put it? Right there. Perfect spot for it. Buying bronze. Nope. Making my own. Selling anything olive oil wine. Right. Good. So unemployment is now at a steady ten percent. That food, though. So. Games have begun. All right. So many items. Okay. Well, I guess we can maybe gift of armor. 
postpone. Sorry, I don't have any room for that. Um, let's do the crazy thing, and eh, we'll we'll increase this housing sector in just a second. Here, right, let me just see. What are we doing with you? Wheat buying fleet. Ah, and buying fleece. Excellent. So we have two fleece sources. Selling sculpture and olive oil. Well, we're selling olive oil. We're not gonna sell sculpture. Gift of armor. Once again, very cool dudes, but uh, not interested. Oh, we have a whole bunch of onion farms there too. Okay. Am I making any sculpture? No, I'm not, right? I was buying it, if I remember correctly, yeah. Okay. Look at those warships patrolling. Isn't that beautiful? Nice. So, at this stage, I can't do anything on Gift of Armor. Too bad. Yeah. I can't do anything to my colonies. You can't, or to the vassals. You cannot raid or... Uh, conquer them. I think if you demand a whole bunch of stuff, like super insistently, um, they might get annoyed and then renounce. If you worship me, traders will find travel to the city easy. Yeah, Hermes. <sighs> but I can't do anything on the military side anymore. I have everything fully developed, both fleet and both uh, gaming games conclude. We play second. I have plenty of everything. Um. Right, let's see about that those sanctuaries. So we can either do Garden of Demeter, which will give us a meadow. So I don't think I'm interested in that. Hermes's refuge. We don't really need that. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I can fulfill any request that comes my way. Groves of Dionysus, we already have plenty of wine. Gates of Hades, we already have plenty of money. He'll give me his hound, though. So we have a hound. Look at those guys. Collect all of that. Nice. Yeah, let's just fast forward it a bit. I'm actually curious to see if they will take how much olive oil Noxus has money was. Sure. 587 drachmas is not then. Alright, so they're taking down the olives now. Okay, seems to be good. Athena's still not blessing any of those. Like, what is wrong with you? Athena's maybe supposed to only bless the olive presses or the wineries, so why does she keep going down here? Go, uh, there's a roadblock. I wish, I wish they would pay attention to the roadblocks, but I guess. Meh, whatever. If you worship me, traders will find travel to the city easy. Traders will find travel to the city easy. I wonder what that means. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh we're getting build build here. We have Hephaestus, we have Athena. I wish you could build all the temples. Well Demeter, Dionysus, Hades. Ah, let's build Hermes for the LOLs of it all. I can still build one after this, like Hades. Okay. Demeter. I build Demeter. No, nope, city cannot support more than four sanctuaries. Alright, fine, we'll just leave it like that. I don't really need Demeter or Dionysus. Hermes might be interesting. I think deliveries will go faster, so maybe deliveries to uh, those uh, 
these uh, granaries will go a bit faster. Is working there. Oh, we can get more of those guys going. Go. And it looks like we need some uh, sculptures, so let's buy some sculptures. How many do we need? This guy needs two, this guy needs four, so six sculptures, please. Some games begin. Let them begin. Eight sculptures. That is a bit too much, but thank you. <laughs> City Games End. We lost. Boo hoo. Hermes Refuge is complete. There he is. What do you say, buddy? Time for my morning constitutional. That's the best way to keep in shape. Hermes will fulfill a request for supplies on your behalf. While Hermes Refuge is in the city, the city's delivery men are inspired by his speed. Move quicker, traders too are speedier, and more of them come to your city. If Hermes hears your prayer, he will fulfill an outstanding request upon your city. Okay, so faster and more traders. That might be a good thing, actually. Tribute paid, thank you. Yes, funny. <laughs> I don't have a maintenance guy for over here though, so maybe I should do something about that. Put one there just in case. I don't know if it's actually required, but of course Hermes doesn't go up to where the cart people are, he just goes down. What? Medusa in the city. Perseus Hall. Okay. Okay, she looks very aggressive. What's I'll going on? Turn this city into a giant sculpture garden. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's just let's just be reasonable about this Medusa lady. Um. Let's just put him there. What do you need? Sanctuary to Athena, got it. Hermes, got it. The Drachmas, got it. Fleece, got it. Sculptures. Okay, we need to buy three sculptures ASAP. Okay, I'm glad I went with Hermes and I didn't go with the other guys. Demeter, Dionysus. How aggressive is she? Where's she going? Spin games have concluded. We lost. Need one sculpture there, okay. So actually we need to buy four sculptures now. Thank you. Then for the guy. Then for him. Yeah, she's not doing anything yet. Noble mortal. Fulfill my quest and you will be rewarded. Okay, Odysseus Hall. Okay. That's how they spice it up. This guy, great popularity, excellent in citywide health, eight elite housing, got plenty, olive oil, afro of wine. Okay. Let's go grab Odysseus as well. I'm Perseus, and I'm Gates of Hades is complete. Nice. Alright, Perseus, go go tickle the lady. The world-renowned Odysseus, King of Ithaca, Uh-oh, she's going aggressive. Get him, puppy. Oh, the puppy's actually fighting her. Are they just gonna fight forever? She turned the puppy to stone! Dude! Perseus! Wow, did you draw that here all by yourself? 
Apparently. Oh, dude, do I lose? Do I lose Hades' dog? That sucks, dude. Killer, dude. All right. All right, let's send uh, Odysseus to the thing. It is truly a pleasure to live in this city. All right, that's good. Here's Odysseus. Penelope will have to wait a long time before she sees me again. This city is so great. Okay, so she didn't destroy anything. She just turned the dog to stone, dude. I needed that puppy. I have a little pet. Ugh. All right, so let's uh, finally conclude this by enhancing this sector. Put the police over there. And uh, there's Hephaestus. My blessing, the metal here shall multiply, whether it be silver, bronze, or coin. Wait. Hades will deposit drachmas in your treasury when you need funds. Hades' three-headed hound Cerberus will patrol your city, striking down enemies when you build the gates of Hades. Hades will also offer you the riches of the earth, silver ore that can be converted into drachmas at a mint. Okay, so because this housing sector is going to increase like crazy... We're probably gonna do some mints now. Alright. Even though we have plenty of money. Once unemployment starts getting crazy, we'll uh, put some mints. I am so thoroughly pleased. You have fulfilled my quest. You have a gift of olive oil. Awesome. Apparently we're struggling a bit with that. Plenty of fleece, though. It's always good. Another gift of olive oil. Whew, that one was a big one. Gift, that is. Alright. Let's see. Any other challenges coming my way, maybe? Gaming games begin. Oh, well, too bad. That was a huge gift. So this guy just took a cart of onions and are sacrificing him because we have no animals, right? To be sacrificed. Uh, um, urchins, maybe? Meh. Okay. Meh. Mm. All right, so unemployment's starting to build up now. Let's get those mints going. Gaming game's concluded. We play second. Fine. Okay, and there's a whole bunch of mints. Actually, that might be too many. evolved nicely there. We're gonna receive another 700 people apparently. And we're gonna have a huge unemployment problem again. So, what I propose is that we, uh, in order to win every single game that happens here on out, um,
So let's put a maintenance guy right there. And then let's just make a whole bunch of these. There you go, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. A whole bunch of theaters. Three. A whole bunch of drama schools. Three. I'm gonna trap the maintenance guy. Oh, he has to return eventually, yeah. Alright, let's see where we can put some uh, podiums. Two podiums there. Wait for that guy to get out of there. Smyrna wants sculpture. Hermes, buddy. Yeah, I'm relying on Hermes. This is why I got him. Right. Okay, apparently we have a whole bunch of marble, so let's, uh, that's blocking the way, so let's uh, give these guys a whole bunch of marble. There you go. Anyone else needs marble? Hmm? No? Give it to the same guy then. Here you go, Marble. We need to get that podium in there. Thank you, Hermes. Oh, there you go. Wait, there you go. He went in. All right. There, third podium. Good. Okay, so now I need a whole bunch of colleges. And we can do that by going like that. Yeah. And let's just put a roadblock there. Put another maintenance guy there. We need three colleges. Two, three. And we need a whole bunch more gymnasiums. There's one. And two and three. There we go. Still high in employment. Okay. Thieves is grateful for stuff. That's good. Well, what else can we do? Let's make more olive presses and wineries, I guess. Three more olive presses. Three more wineries. More olive presses. There we go, now the unemployment's under control. I don't like seeing you guys struggling. They look empty, but they're not. Like, I have plenty of food. Just that they're being weird about it. Hmm. Okay. Large Demeter statue. Right? Put that somewhere nice. Right there. You get paid. Thank you. What else do we got? Colony monuments. Athlete monuments. Let's 
get rid of all these guys and put monuments. Conquest monuments. And happiness monuments. And scholar monuments. And athlete monuments. And conquest monuments. And happiness monuments. And scholar monuments. And did I forget to mention a bunch of happiness and conquest? Let's see, where are we going to put the conquest? Ooh, 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 ooh. I know where we're going to put the conquest. Right there. Conquest, conquest. There we go, we're done with the monuments. Let's see the beautification of it all. Amazing. Okay, that is such a high appeal area. That is ridiculously high appeal. Gift of wine. Postpone. Thank you, though. Good. Our city is stunningly beautiful. Good wine. Thank you. We can put some gazebos there. Put a fish pond next to the infirmary. Put some flower gardens over there. Less Corinthian. Yay, we can accept at least half of it. Yay. There we go. Now that is so beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, well, that's been uh, quite enough time. So, there you go. That was, uh... That was uh, the full open play economic, I guess. We have a population of 8540. Yes, dispatch now, Festival of Troy. Um, so we've got four housing sectors and one elite housing. We've got 8540 people. And people are happy. See, this guy's blessing all these mints. How much did you produce last year? Holds 150 silver. Where can I see how much money? Limping in, that's cool. Taxes, 23,000. Oh, exports, 18,000. Oh, gifts received, mine silver, 1,500. Tribute received, zero. Hypodrome, zero. Total income, massive. Yeah, we have some expenses too. Import costs, wages, and. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mints gave me 1500 a year. Or wait, we just implemented them last year, so that's not a full year. Let's wait until December. Collapsed building. Where? I put a maintenance guy here. What are you doing? This was what? A gymnasium. All right, let's put the gymnasium. There we go. Olympic Games concluded. We won. We we should win everything now since we're like amazing. Okay, November, December, January. All right, so let's look at those taxes. Last year, last okay, mine silver thirty one hundred so out of seven. That's roughly four hundred per four hundred and fifty. Okay, so that's good to know. Uh, awesome. Tribute pay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we got loads of money, we got all our trading partners, we got all our ships, we've got everything we could ever hope for. And these guys are still full with loads of stuff. Grapes, olives. Loves me because I win the Olympic Games. 
Oh, what a beautiful city. Well, it was nice, and I think it looks like nothing else is happening, so... Good. It would have been a lot easier to conquer people now, because basically if we wanted to conquer someone, we would send... Oh, I can't even see how many people I would send, but... Basically, we have our horsemen companies here, plus our six warships, plus our two heroes, uh, Odysseus and uh, Perseus. Yeah. So with two extra heroes, yeah, that would have made a huge difference. And as defense, we have the puppy, we have Talos from Hephaestus. Alright, well, I think this was a good enough journey. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.